Scott Morrison has outlined his attempt to create a coalition of the willing to deal with an increasingly aggressive China. Now less certain of unfailing support from the United States, the Prime Minister is trying to build new bonds with like-minded nations in our region. Plagued by disease, crippled by shutdowns and threatened by the clash between the United States and China. It is fair to say that in 2020, our international society is under strain. Australia is trying to chart a path between its major trading partner and its key ally. To assume Australia and the United States has an identical outlook on China would be false because the circumstances are completely different. And I think Morrison is working hard to create some difference between us and Washington, particularly the Washington of Donald Trump. But he also confronts a much more aggressive Beijing, annexing the South China Sea, menacing Japan in the East China Sea, provoking a border dispute with India, making threats against Taiwan, launching cyber attacks, threatening trade sanctions and interfering in our democracy. Neither coercion nor abdication from the international system is the way forward. The Prime Minister's path is to hedge Australia's bets by strengthening links with India, Japan, Indonesia, Vietnam and the Philippines. Morrison is engaged in trying to construct a network of like-minded countries. These new networks of cooperation are absolutely vital. They're crucial. The aim is not to contain China but to balance it by forging a regional coalition which can, if necessary, push back in unison. It's one thing to talk tough, it's another thing to be tough. Labor has been critical of the government's handling of China but there is little real distance between the two major parties. Australia should never take a backward step in asserting our interests and our values. But weaving between superpowers will be a delicate dance. Chris Yulman, Nine News.